What's good? It's your boy Roddy Too Good. Welcome back to another episode of the Pilot Show. Oh man, let's get straight to it, bro. Yo, so news just came out that the judge from the YSL case he had to step down, and they got. I'm I'm guessing they're gonna get a new judge, and I see people celebrating, people saying this and that. Listen, man. I wouldn't celebrate just yet, because I'm just thinking like, yo, okay, they booted him off, they got, yo, what if they just go and get like one of them juggernaut lawyers, I mean, juggernaut judges to where this one, he gonna come just wrecking stuff, like, listen, man, we all Young Thug fans and we all love Thug, but we gotta understand, like, these charges and these, all these other things, like, if he get it, if you get a judge who ain't playing all that stuff, who ain't really trying to be there for the nonsense and who really trying like like a hard news judge it might be very very different from what happened now like so like be careful what y'all ask for because it could it could get a lot worse than what it is like so and and, and I'm pretty sure they not going to throw no no pushover judge in there they going to try to throw somebody in there who's definitely like one of them like he's going to be like a drill sergeant judge because I know this is kind of embarrassing to the court and embarrassing to the city and all that stuff. So it might it might get dark, man. I'm just saying it right now. I know I understand that everybody's like happy for this and then like this is a case, fam. You can't like you can't really be happy for stuff like that because it's like yo, fam. It, only thing you could be happy for is not guilty for real, like because that's when it's going to be kind of over. But um. Yeah, man, this, I don't even know what to say with this case. This case all over the place. You got Lil Woody, he doing 20v1s, like, yo, come on, fam. This <laughs> homie is doing 20v1s. A star witness in the case is doing 20v1s, yo. What is we doing, fam? Like, I right, fam, this is crazy, but, um... I say that to say this, man, like, yo, like, yo, just try, try not to be biased, man, because you will be surprised, like, same, same thing with the Tory Lanez thing, like, yo, it, like, usually, I'm gonna say this, man, usually when the internet is on one side with these cases, yo, they, they a thousand percent wrong, they've been wrong on a lot of these cases, like, the Melly case. Like, and then people, like, calling for a mistrial, like, they'll get to come home after that. No, like, yo, know, like, and that, that be the thing, like, it's like, it's just the logic of, like, like, when, when people say, yo, this case has been going on for way too long, let's have a mistrial. Like, nigga, that just means the case is going to start all over, so that means the case going to still go on long. What is it, like, what is... What the? Like, yo, that's like you playing the game of Uno and saying, like, yo, this game way too long. Let's start over. Like, no, like, that don't make no sense. Nigga, we, we've been doing this case for this long. We might as well just finish it. But, I mean, everybody a lawyer today. I'm just saying, like, if you think a mistrial going to get him to come home, just silently mistaken because, nigga, he on there for a body. And not only for the body stuff, y'all got to think, too. They found all that stuff in his house with the switches and all that stuff. So they ain't they ain't playing with them switches, yo. Y'all gotta y'all I'm telling y'all right now, they is not playing with them switches, though. They they gonna send you up for that. But um yeah, man, so I just don't understand that logic. And I don't understand uh the little little Woody's his his team's logic, like how you get immunity and how like okay you telling, you getting immunity, and then like somehow this meeting happens, and then like yo you, you plead the fifth, this meeting happens, and then now you trying to help out the dude who trying to pin the murder on you, cause like it's just it's it's stuff that make you scratch your head to where it's like, huh? Wait a minute, because like all this stuff is helping. Like, Young Thug stuff. And that's what, I guess, the judge was saying. Like, hold on, fam, yo. It's in, it's not fair because, yo, you have a person that you need to defend. You can't be working with this person. Like, you can't be telling him information that's for you and your client. Like, because 
it's an unfair advantage. Like, fam, you could just, like, yo, but anyway. For me, man, I don't know, man. I really don't know. It's weird. This case is weird. And you know, you're going to hear biasness. Like, yo, y'all ever realize, like, only only lawyers be on the internet. Like, prosecutors and all that stuff, they don't be on the internet. Why? Because they got jobs. Like, they prosecutors get appointed, lawyers get hired. Like, and this is why you see lawyers online, because they need to get hired. Prosecutors don't need to get hired. They just get appointed. Okay, you was on this case. All right, cool. Like, so, you, everything you got to take with a grain of salt, especially with certain lawyers, because every time you hear a lawyer talk, it's an audition tape. Every lawyer could get off anything and they see the loopholes and all that. Like that lawyer that be on academic show, man, I'll guarantee you a thousand percent that nigga's ass. I guarantee you, nobody has ever came out and said that this person has helped him. He just give you that, he give you that Max B. Salucci vibe, like to where he gonna get a nigga life and then he gonna disappear. And that's and that's exactly somebody's gonna be dumb enough to actually give him money to represent him, and then they gonna get sent up, and then people gonna be like, "Oh, he don't know what he doing." Yeah, cause he's a lawyer, and he just got nice suits, and he talk well, man. He's ass, but that's what my thoughts is. But I'm just saying. But shout, like, listen. <laughs> But yeah, man, comment down below, man. Tell me what y'all think about this whole crazy young thug case, man. Peace out.